Hello, people. Just thought I'd film this quickly, show you some cool stuff with chat GPT that isn't just churning out rubbish content um, like I'm seeing all over the place. But um, yeah, I was thinking about conversational AI and obviously what this is doing and how it can supplement keyword research. And I've seen a few examples of it and I thought I'd test it out for myself, but then I thought I'd show everyone how this works and just how much time it can actually save. Um, so I went into chat GPT and uh, entered the, uh, the query of show me 50 keywords a user's, it's supposed to say user, may search on Google about e-bikes. And it actually returned 50 keywords, best e-bikes, best bike reviews, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 50 keywords, and at the end it says electric bike news, right? I then had a bit of a conversation with it. So I then asked it to categorize these keywords by theme. I wasn't specific how I wanted the info, so it then gave me some paragraphs with kind of product product features and specifications, delimited list, um, then legal and safety, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it did a pretty good job of categorizing them, um, but I didn't g give it instructions as to how to categorize them. So I then said, categorize these keywords by search intent and display in a table. Again, wasn't very specific about how, but it did a pretty good job of giving me uh, search intent um, for product info, legal and safety. So kind of tried to do a guess as to what I meant by intent, but again, returned a table, which is exactly what I asked for. Um, I then went through and asked it to kind of look at it by buyer intent. Again, same type of info. Uh, asked it to categorize by search intent. Again, didn't really do what I needed to do, but then... I thought I'd be more specific. So I said, categorize the initial keyword list in a table with the first column containing the keyword and the second column, the search intent of the keyword with the options. So I gave it options of what to think about. So I said transactional, informational, navigational, and commercial, the obvious ones. And look at this. He looked at it and returned the actual list by the intent uh, that I wanted it to. So let's say, for example, then we wanted to say prov uh, provide a brief outline for each keyword in a third column. Let's see what that does. And boom. Well, okay, that's not boom at all. That's kind of giving me an outline. So what else do I need instead? Uh, provide uh, a brief um, content outline for each keyword in a third Column. Cool. So it's kind of trying to explain um, how to maybe think about the content. Now, obviously, if you're better at content outlines than me, you can probably find a different way of asking you to do things. But imagine having this at the drop of a hat, categorize, which you can obviously import. You could use an API, put it straight into Sheets if you wanted to, or API this as a Sheets function. Um, and then you get basically all these queries categorized. You could probably theme them. So uh, theme these keywords in these keywords by topic in a fourth column. Oh God. Uh, right, in a fourth column, let's see what that does. Is it going to do cool? Yes, it is. So product performance and quality 
product brands and options